not surprisingly, um, this has been talked about very little. It's a relatively new discovery of a particle being released from the sun's core that is affecting all matter on Earth. Uh, most importantly, um, the human body has eight elements that this particle is affecting, which means that the DNA structure that makes up human beings is being mutated um, to what extent um, is a pretty much unknown at this point being that it's such a, a new discovery um, but a very very important one I mean, human beings are being mutated and, um, there's information available that you can access to um, learn more about this, but in a nutshell, like I said, humans are mutating, and the cause is particles that are being released from the sun's core. There's so much going on. Now, at the same time, it's hard to keep up with it all. You know, I'm more uh, concerned with things that are happening that uh, could affect the safety and well-being uh, of uh, mankind on Earth. Um, this new discovery of some huge planet right outside of our solar system you know it seems like they're uh, discovering new galaxies and planets uh, on a daily basis that have never been seen before it's interesting You know, knowledge is power, and the powers that be want to keep it all for themselves to do their best to remain all-powerful. So it's up to each individual to investigate um, and seek out as much information as possible um, on various subjects, you know, um, we have access to computers and databases and information that people didn't have in the not so distant past you know and i encourage each and every person to take advantage of that and expand uh, their knowledge base i mean we can better ourselves as a people and at the same time um, learn and discover new interesting things and um, keeping as up to date as possible on what's taking place um, around us, I feel um, it's the best thing one can do to ensure the safety of themselves 
and the people around them. What's going on in the Middle East? Most recently Egypt and now Bahrain and Libya, Tanzania. The climate is rich with uh, people want to be free. You know, people are tired of uh, living under dictatorships and having access to computers they they see what you know a taste of freedom i mean regardless of the the problems that we may have america uh, in my opinion, is the best country in the world to live in. I mean, can you imagine living in a third world dictatorship like Iran and, or China? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> or being in a country like Somalia, where you can't even grow food in the ground because all the minerals are depleted. Anyhow, um, I appreciate your support, and I hope you all are safe. Um, more will be revealed. Keep looking up. Uh, investigate for yourself. And Godspeed. I'll talk to you all again soon.